Hey gang, today we are in Belvedere, Illinois. We're just outside of Rockford. This is many, many miles northwest of Chicago. And we're at a cemetery called Highland Garden of Memories here in Belvedere. And we're here to visit the grave of a 23-year-old woman who was murdered. Really very vicious, sad story. And it's late breaking and active right now. I wanted to shoot out here and get this story out as soon as possible because the woman who murdered this young lady, her name was Peggy Lynn Johnson, is about to be sentenced. So I'll tell you the story. I want to give a shout out to Durwood who gave me that notification on this yesterday and I wanted to get right on, right on this to get the word out because sentencing from the time of this doing this is about two weeks away. Anyway, let's take a walk and I'll tell you the story. It's a very sad story, but it's a story that just really will make you mad. It really made me mad, let me tell you. And we're gonna talk about a woman who, this woman who's going to get sentenced is an absolute demon, an absolute horrible person like nothing I've ever even heard of. Now we're going back to 1994 and the place not all that far from here called McHenry, Illinois. Now Peggy was 18 years old at the time and she was cognitively disabled. Peggy's mother had just passed away so she was left completely alone. She wandered to the medical center that's in town there. She was apparently looking for help, confused. And the first nurse that she ran into was a woman named Linda LaRoche. Now Linda was a registered nurse and she said, hey, I'll, I'll help you out. No one would know that this woman was a monster. And no one would know when she said, I'll help you out, that she meant, she basically said, come home with me. I'll take care of you. And she brought Peggy home 18 years old, confused, dazed, looking for help, completely vulnerable, and she turned her into a slave and prisoner and worse. Yeah, and worse. She abused her, she beat her, she burned her, and she sexually abused her. And this went on for four to five years. Five long years, this beast kept Peggy as a prisoner. And she was so abusive that she finally, she killed Peggy. Apparently Peggy died from these injuries building up and infections. In the end, it was determined as blunt force trauma. Now, nobody knew that Peggy was missing. Why? Because her mom had died, brother had died, there was just no family. And of course, this Linda beast would not say anything. Well, when Linda was done with her, what did she do? She dumped Peggy's body 50 miles to the northeast along a road southwest of Milwaukee, not far from a town called Racine in Wisconsin, is a little town called Raymond. Now on July 21st, 1999, there was a woman walking. She was walking along the road there in Raymond and she discovered a young woman's body. A young woman's body that was discarded and left in a cornfield 
just a few feet from the roadway. In addition to the blunt force trauma they discovered when they brought her body in to be autopsied, they saw burns all over her body and those signs of that, that abuse we talked about. So she, she, Peggy, became a Jane Doe. She became a Jane Doe of Racine for 20 years. They really tried to find out who she was, and they just couldn't determine it. They, they couldn't figure it out, even with DNA, and finally they did. Using the latest DNA, she was exhumed, and her identity on November 7, 2019, was discovered. Now, in the meantime, this beast, this demon, Linda LaRoche, is living in Coral Gables, Florida, and she's in a bar, and she's bragging to somebody about this, what she did. She's bragging. So that person she was talking to, or whoever overheard her, became a tipster, and she was arrested and she was charged with first-degree murder and she was extradited here I think to Racine and the trial and all the just horrid details came out and she was convicted that's right and she's sitting there right now a convicted murderer in jail waiting to be sentenced and she is going to be sentenced in about, well, about two weeks from the time of the shooting. The sentencing hearing has been scheduled for May 23rd. So put that in your calendar, folks. That's a couple of weeks away. And let's just see what happens. I will just say this. The judges. Let's just have faith that she's put away for life at the very least. No parole. I can't imagine it, the, the sentence could be any less, but, you know, around these parts, we never know. So let's see. Let's see what happens. And let's have faith. Let's have faith in our system here. We are at Peggy's grave here. She's buried next to her mom. Peggy Lynn Johnson Schroeder. And her mom, Diane Marie, June 15th, 1953, November 26, 1994. Beloved mother and sister forever in our hearts. Well, you can see the date, 1994, and it was right after that this whole series of events started. I believe it was 95, and that's the end of 94, so yep, that all adds up. Peggy Lynn Johnson Schroeder, March 4th, 1976, July 21st, 1999. Beloved daughter, sister, and niece, your life was a blessing, your memory a treasure. It's a very sad story. I'll leave a flower for Peggy. And we hope you get justice, Peggy. We hope you're resting in peace in a better place. Rest in peace.